channel or welcome if this is your first time here. Today's video I'm sharing with you how I decorate my TV media stand for Halloween. And this will be a look that you can do with your mantle if you don't use a TV media stand or if you just have a sofa table, just any long narrow table, this is, will be something you can do at your house. So stick around if you're decorating for Halloween and let me know down in the comments below when you start decorating for Halloween. So this is the middle of September, which would be early for me if I was not making a video for YouTube. I would probably start decorating for Halloween October 1st, but since I have to get this video out to you guys, it is a little bit early. So. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you are new here. I would love to have you as part of my YouTube family. I'm almost to 500 subscribers, so click that subscribe button now and share with your friends. Let me know down in the comments below when you decorate for Halloween and let's get started. These are some of the bigger pieces that I have. This is a stuffed skeleton and he has, I guess, yeah, beans in his bottom there. He has feet and arms and a hat. He came from Target last year and I did buy him full price and he was part of like their carnival type um, line of decor. So I did buy him full price last year and I have not seen anything like him this year at Target besides like some smaller pieces that are wooden and they kind of go with him I don't know if that even makes sense but I got this sign it's wooden and iron and it says happy Halloween and it hangs and so I thought that would probably go on the front door it came from Kroger last year and I was just looking at the price it says $24.99 now I did not spend that in fact, I don't even think I would have bought this for half price. So I really think that it was probably like 75% off and that would have put it at like 750 or so. So I think that's probably what I got it for. I also got these 75% off from Kroger and I bought like three of these, but the other two are around here somewhere. The kids have been kind of looking at the Halloween decor, but these you fill up with leaves. We don't have a whole lot of leaves, so I just kind of put yard debris in it or whatever to fill them. This is my new piece, and it is like a haunted house lantern. And you can put an LED light in it, it closes. It has this little springy bat on the top. So that's my newest item that I bought this year. And it came from Target. This does not have the sticker on it still, but this is our spooky tree that I bought around Halloween at TJ Maxx Home Goods, and I bought it like a while ago, probably like three years ago, but they still sell things like this. And I wanna say it was like 10 or $15. It lights up, and I'm pretty sure I took the back, no, I left the batteries in. So there it goes, it's lit. And you can't really see, but the little ends light up so it adds some light to the living room and this goes outside this big spider and the legs are just kind of messed up but it's huge and one of my subscribers actually sent this guy to me last year and he goes on the bushes outside with some spider webs but those are all of my really big items that well you know that's not big but that did not fit into the tub so we're about to go through it first before I go through all of that stuff I bought this two-tiered tray 
That's Jack. <laughs> and it spins, but it doesn't spin well. It came from Target dollar section. So it's like a lazy Susan. It was $5. I bought it to see if I would want to decorate it for Halloween in the kitchen. These are so cool. I bought these while we were on vacation this year at an antique shop. And they're like really heavy stained glass. And you put a votive candle or a tea light candle in it. But even without the candles, I thought they were just like really cute to decorate with. And they're such, I feel like they're like really good quality. They're really heavy. And they only cost $6 for the pair. I got this little candy dish, which I chipped last year from TJ Maxx. It was like five or six dollars. And I leave it in the kitchen, obviously. And these little guys are salt and pepper shakers. So these would be probably what I would end up doing something with, putting them on there or so. But I had four. I had a mummy. Up there, Mom. But up there. In a minute. But the mummy broke, so there's only three of those left. But that's kind of all of the decor I have right here. And obviously it's not where it's going to stay. Okay, so I'm gonna try to hold the camera and go through this. I don't know why I don't just set it up, but let's see. Barwin! Barwin, Mom! Yeah. These were from Walmart last year for $1.98. Put a little tea candle in it. Be careful, they're glass, they'll break. Mm -hmm. I also have the ghost. So I decided it was taking me a lot longer than I thought to go through all of this stuff. So instead of you having to watch me go through every single thing, I decided to speed it up here. After just looking at a few more things, I'm going to cut this off because it takes quite a while to go through all of this stuff. I'm talking about every little piece. So I'm just going to skip that and we're going to go straight to decorating.
Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. Also comment down below what your favorite Halloween decor pieces are. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.